I know running a food business from the stable of your kitchen from home can be very challenging, especially if you are the sole person uh, because um, running your kitchen from home is a one-man business anyway. And uh, you are the only person that will do all the cooking and um, still do all the packaging. And at the same time, you still have the time to serve your customers. So you are running your kitchen on uh, on a platform where people on a takeaway platform and at the same time also dealing with customers demand i can tell you that it can it is very very challenging hello everyone you're welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i will be showing you how i run my restaurant from my home kitchen successfully with all the each that comes with it Tell me that again. Customers can be very, very, you know, demanding the kind of things that they demand. And at the same time, you want to meet at and you both want to meet at the equilibrium to service them, for them to enjoy your service. And at the same time, you being happy doing what you do. So the first thing you want to do, I have done several videos in the time past to start your home kitchen. First and foremost, you need to check with the local authority to ensure that your area allows home-based food business and comply with health and safety um, regulations that is where they come to your house and you do all the um, net they will do all the necessary checks and they will give you your hygiene rating so after then you will now begin to look for a platform where you will sell all this food there are a lot of people out there that are looking for food to eat. Uh, so if you're new here, thank you so much for tuning in. And um, to all my returning subscribers, thank you. I hope this video will do a lot to those that want to start running their restaurant or they are starting or they're already into the um, business. So like I said, this video is to encourage someone out there that is running a kitchen from home or want to start a business. So the next thing you want to do is menu selection create a unique menu offer dishes that stand out and that and that will cater to a specific target audience maybe you're african maybe you're jamaican maybe you're english you're uh, i mean you need to create that kind of menu that you know where your target audience is so uh like you can see in the video i do a lot of packaging i make sure that how my food gets to my customers is very 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 important so the next thing you want to do is set up a social media you have to be on this social media platform you know to engage engage with customers and you promote your offerings you promote your business you promote you you let people know what you do so because that is the only way they can know you so i mean um now coming on board on a platform like this which is i, I run my kitchen on a delivery on the delivery app and i will say delivery app is the only app that allows home kitchen other uh what i've tried other ones they are not allowing it so i mean it's quite good it gives you the liberty to be able to showcase yourself and let the world know the kind of um you know the business i will always say home kitchen is always the best anyway because you put your heart to it you cook minimal you don't cook that bulky bulkiness and that will have you know stale food so you cook in minimal and um you know you service your customers very nice you can see in the video i do all the lots of beautiful packaging when my customers my reviews are the bomb so this is how the order comes in you see it comes out like this then i'll get them out from the fridge i've showed you in most some videos how i do all my preservation and how i store my food so if it is frozen i make sure that i cook them and it is cold before i put them in the freezer so when the order comes in like this i break them out and i and it goes straight into the microwave and i warm it and make sure that i probe it you see in the video how i probe my food okay then the next one is um like okay i said that you set up a social media platform so um Please, if you're new here, make sure that you, you know, share this video to all those that need this video. There are lots of people that, that, you know, they want to start a business like this and they don't know how to. And in, the, in my channel, you will see lots of videos of food content, hygiene content, or how to start tips on how to start your business or how to get your hygiene rating. I've got loads of video down there. Please um, kindly check them out. So when I run my business, 
I mean, when I open, I, two o'clock, I open the restaurant and I close around 11.45 every day. So in the kitchen, I make sure that time and safe food delivery to my customers. So um, anytime an order comes in, is always race against time. So um, like I say, maybe they say two or three order comes in. So they give you about 15 minutes and before you warm it and everything. So, and at the same time, you want to make sure that this food is very, very hot before, you know, the, the rider comes to pick it up. So sometimes it's quite challenging for me because sometimes the rider has to wait because the food is not ready. And you want to make sure that all these things are aligned. You don't want it to get to the customer and all the food is pouring and stuff like that. So this is where uh, my packaging comes in. So um, packaging and presentation comes in. I invest so much in attractive packaging to maintain food quality during delivery to my customers. So um, when uh, so I have different packages packaging for different food. So when I have stew, I make sure that I put them into um, um, these um, biodegradable, biodegradable um, bag, uh, brown bags. So they, are, they help to absorb oil if it's going to leak. So if I have, like you can see in the video, I have plantain. So these boxes, they are oil proof or oil, you know, yeah, oil proof. So it doesn't leak. So when I package them like that, it you know, is nice and cozy, I would say, uh, inside those um, packs. So, but when I have um, um, order for meat, uh, fish, I, order, I also put them in packs like this. So there are some food that I cook on demand, maybe when the order comes in, like pounded yam, amala, and um, plantain. Those are the food that I cook just on point you can see this is beans it's been frozen so make sure that the food that you're going to cook you don't cook them for too long maybe um you want to cook some food that within a certain within certain days they must go so i'm still going to come back and tell you talk to you guys about um is it rotation yeah rotation and how you can uh, preserve your food that uh, and I'll tell you how many days that you have to keep your food bef uh, for you to sell and all the ones that you can't sell. Yeah, within within certain days that this food has to be. So you can see this is the delivery guy. A delivery guy he has come to collect it and the order is on its way. So like, you know, this is how the orders comes in. It's quite challenging for me because sometimes, um, you know, my kids do help me out a lot. So sometimes when they are not around, um, is like helter skelter in the kitchen but we always try to pull through so you can see the order once it comes in like this i go into the freezer i get them out and i'll start you know preparing it so like yeah, like i said you can see this is a goosey is frozen so you have to make sure that it is really really hot so again when i talk about packaging i, I sometimes they request um cutleries so if they don't request cutleries i don't put it inside but i make sure that i put serviettes and i make sure that i put dental floss or toothpick so that when they finish eating they can always um do that and there were sometimes i used to put mint inside but i stopped it i don't know the reason why but i think i would you know continue that again so i've got different packages for um different uh, food uh, because now everybody is trying to go green and you too, you want to make sure that you help, you know, they are trying to eradicate plastic. So you too, I'm only, I'm trying to uh, make sure that most of my packaging are biodegradable. They are, you know, food friendly and stuff like that. So you can see, you can see how I'm packing it. It's very, very um, important. So guys, I hope this um, video is useful to you guys out there. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section, what you think about this um, video, how you feel. Are you a caterer? Are you, um, do you run your restaurant? Do you, no, it doesn't have to be from home. Maybe you're running in the other premises. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section. You can see there, I am probing this um, Ogbono soup to make sure that it is in the right temperature. You don't want it to be too cold and you don't want it to be too warm. You want it peeping hot because it's been coming out from the freezer. So when I cook, I make sure that I cook 
certain amount of soup that I know that will go within days. You don't want to put your soup in the freezer for too long. So guys, um, I hope you guys are getting something out of this video. I'm telling you, um, I know a lot of people are facing lots of challenges, especially with um, um, cooking of food. Yes, yeah, some people, I hear people will say, oh, I cook food every day. In this country, you can't cook food every day, but make sure that the quality of food that you are giving people out there is very, very, very um, important. It's very, very important that the food that you are giving out to your customers, okay, yeah, the food that you're giving out is tasty, it, it's something that you can eat. It is something that you that can go into your own belly. Please don't give out food that you know that or that you can't eat. So this is a foriro is um it's it's frozen and I make sure that it is hot. So I mean literally I do this every day. I do this sometimes in a week. We have over 50 orders. We're still growing. We're still growing in the industry and hopefully we'll become very, very big in this um, um, business. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you guys. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Do you want to go into food business like this? If you want to, let me know. It's very, very lucrative. I would say running a virtual restaurant from your home kitchen can be a rewarding venture. I can tell you that. It gives you the liberty to be able to do other things from home. And at the same time, keep your home very, very clean. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate I always appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. Um, I do. Oh, I don't know what to say, guys. So, guys, anyway, uh, make sure you give this um, video a, a, a thumbs up. And if you want to see more video of mine, of my kitchen, how I run my kitchen or any other thing, my hygiene tips, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Okay, guys. Uh, so till I see you guys again in my next video, take care, stay safe and God bless you. Bye.